welcome my Libra Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Welcome to your five card draw. What do I need read for this new moon to full moon in December 2021? I am your reader. Mark Angela Lyons, Mal for short, professional witch, professional intuitive, president of Drawing the Circle Productions since 1998, author of Words of Grace, from a professional witch available on Kindle and now on Patreon, having a field day with my humans, heroes, immortals, gods, and goddesses over there. If you want to check it out, we're doing cool stuff over there. Uh, the Archangel of Lions, Mark Angela Lions, but you can call me Mal. Also, uh, Mercury conjunct uh, Venus in Libra, third house, so ready to rock and roll and serve. If you're new to the channel, five card draw, five cards, one from uh, five different decks, getting you clues, tips, and hints about a specific astrological timeline, which we will talk about in a minute. These five decks also represent the five magical elements, fire, earth, air, water, and spirit, in that order, uh, to help you shape your intention work, your spell work, with the seed that you want to plant at a new moon to then uh, reap uh, at the full moon, a waxing uh, two-week timeline. And let's look at that now. New moon in Sagittarius, Saturday, December 4th. It is a solar eclipse at 2.43 a.m. Eastern time. I am in New York. The waxing moon to full uh, in Gemini, Saturday, December 18th, 11.36 p.m., which I have to say is wonderful. You could, It's a Saturday to a Saturday. Very good for long-term stuff. Uh, money in particular, all sorts of interesting stuff you could get up to uh, with that waxing moon. So it is a general read. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Check your other signs to get more information about what we're about to look at or perhaps another situation running concurrently because we all have more than one thing going on. Uh, other than that, all the decks that I read are always in the bottom of the description box. Uh, if you want to check it out, link down there to a video, booking a reading with now. All my deets are down there. Instagram, Twitter, blah, blah, blah. Follow along because I'm a field day nowadays. Uh, other than that, both feet on the floor if you can. Focus on your breath if you will. I will do the same to get you the clarity, guidance, and grace that I can for my lovely Libras. By the way, I am doing this when the moon is in Libra. <laughs> so very, very much feeling it. Please take a nice deep breath. And we begin using the magical spell cards by Lucy Cavendish. I call upon the ancestors of magic, miracles, and mysticism for the Libra Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign watching this video, receiving this reading. What is their element of fire, the spell fragment to help them shape and refine what they yearn for, what they burn for? what their hearts desire this new to full December 2021. Grace. We had some other cards here, but this is the right one. Grace. I wrote a book about it. Words of grace. Grace. Blessing. Come to me. Come to me and set me free. Just said a prayer about this like 10 minutes ago before, <laughs> before this very moment. Uh, my book, Words of Grace, is a book of prayer about grace as a mystical substance uh, that surrounds us. It needs to be tuned to prayer, ritual, ceremony, all of that. So to be set free with grace can mean all sorts of different things. Of course, it depends on your definition of grace. Just remember, and this is in my book, uh, ballerinas float on stage, but if you ever saw their feet and what they had to go through, it used to be a dancer. <laughs> you got some ugly hooves going on in those toe shoes. So a lot of pain, a lot of rehearsal, a lot of work, a lot of bones uh, shifting, moving, breaking, being reset, right? So um, grace, blessing, come to me, come to me and set me free. It's definitely a waxing moon vibe. Uh, come to me, right? Waxing instead of get away from me, waning moon vibe. So and let's add the element of Earth here, the Crystal Oracle by Tony Carmine Salerno. Whether you have the stone indicated or not, get it if you want. Uh, the Oracle messages seem pretty uh, clear. So element of Earth, the fuel that feeds the fire, as well as a possible touchstone to help you anchor this into form. Please take a nice deep breath. <sighs> as I call upon my beloved Archangel 
Ariel, one of the archangels of the north powers of uh, Earth. What is the perfect crystal oracle to clarify this card of grace, the fuel that feeds the fire, to help them manifest their heart's desire, this new to full? Amulet stone, thunder eggs, thunder, 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 thunder eggs. Who you call a hoe? Uh, amulet stone. Now an amulet is away, right? Uh, talisman toward amulet away. So uh, this is very, very good for travelers. So if there is travel of some kind coming along, uh, let's see if this resonates. Uh, amulet stone, also known as thunder eggs, protection, guidance, travel. Uh, and integration. Now, this is really cool. I I, I like this, the, how this is written. Travel plans will soon be on the horizon. An unexpected opportunity will arise, which will see you preparing to travel to a far away place. It is the holidays, you know, whatever. Uh, the Amulet Stone offers you protection and guidance while traveling. While away, you will discover interesting ways of integrating your physical and spiritual life as well as your business and personal life. And I think that's the part of it that really lights me up, uh, uh, Venus in Libra, is the ability to integrate, to balance uh, things, spirituality, particularly if you're dealing with family members over the holidays, right, to have that grace uh, to be protected, but also to integrate your spirituality and to be more heart-centered and all that. We'll see what else hits the table before we go there fully, though. Uh, uh, da -da -da -da. Ideas and opportunities arise that you will find rewarding and stimulating. Great. Cardinal air, uh, Libra, creative air. Allow yourself to keep an open heart and mind with grace. Yeah. So this could be in any way, shape, or form. So let's keep going. Element of air, your element. Uh, you're an air sign, cardinal air, creative air. Uh, let's see who the healing angels are that, that, you know, it's a what do I need, read. So think about, read about, pray, meditate, chant, whatever, talk to, however you do your thing. But angels are all about grace in some way, shape, or form sooner or later. Please take a nice deep breath. As I call upon the angels and archangels of air, the sign of Libra, powers of the east, please, who are the healing angels and the healing with the angels oracle that they need to think about, call upon, talk to, pray to, element of air to stoke the fire of grace in their heart's desire with that amulet stone, protection, integration, travel, but really that bringing together of their spirit and, and their, their personal life, something like that going on there. Who are the healing angels they most need to call upon and work with this new to full? Archangel Michael, the only archangel named in this deck, and he has not come up in a reading in a couple of months. Now look, I have a relationship with Archangel Michael, although I am part of Archangel Ariel. The Archangel of Lions, Archangel of Lions, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but look, a protection stone, Archangel Michael is one of the protectors. Uh, it's power, fire, uh, 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 powers of the south element of fire there, but with grace. This is a very, very powerful combo, uh, my Libras, and thankfully it is done in, in grace. Grace, blessing, come to me, come to me and set me free. And how many Archangel Michael sword clearings have you ever done? I feel like I've not only done hundreds on myself, but I have facilitated them, facilitated that with clients as well over the many decades since at least the early 90s. Uh, uh, so what a powerful, powerful lineup we have here, certainly if you're traveling. An amulet stone, blessed and consecrated to Archangel Michael, a ring will do fine. Does not need to necessarily be a thunder egg. Unless you got one hanging around or buzzing by Thundera. No, I know. <laughs> it's a deeper uh, mythical uh, path and indigenous people dealio going on there. But for grace, to travel in grace, to integrate with grace, or whatever you're doing. But Archangel Michael holds the sort of truth. So, you know, don't bother lying about it, right? Speak your truth with grace. And let's, let's keep going here. The element of water, the whispers of love, oracle, the voices of the higher selves, the emotion, the energy in motion. Please take a nice deep breath. Hmm. 
earth I call upon the higher selves of all involved, fifth dimension and above, eighth chakra and above. What is the whisper of love for the Libra Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sun, watching this video, receiving this reading? The emotional stuff, the piece of information, inspiration, insight they most need uh, to, you know, nurture this grace that they want, right? And with that amulet stone to keep an open heart and a clear mind, particularly I think in their communications, speaking the truth, traveling, they are protected and they are integrating some sort of spiritual truth into their mundane life, perhaps some relationships here with Archangel Michael there to help the legions of Archangel Michael to clear the way, to set them free, to uh, to show them the truth, break chains of illusion and set all things to right, reveal what has been hidden and bring the truth to light. What is their element of water to balance all of this out, this nutiful? Receive with love and appreciation. Receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love. Huh. Now again, it is gift giving season. I mean, how many different religions and traditions have holidays from <laughs> just November, December into January? There's a lot going on. Um, and certainly this is an idea uh, that fits well with the travel and the receiving of grace. Remember, you are asking for grace to come to you. Grace, blessing, come to me. Come to me and set me free. Uh, you know, Archangel Michael, the more I look at these, the more that I'm seeing. Uh, still a very general read. This could be about anything. Uh, but certainly very interconnected, almost like Lego blocks, like clickety click, click, click. Not all saying the same thing. Different colors and shapes of Lego blocks, Lego bricks. Let's get your card of spirit. The Healing Mantra deck uh, by Matt Kahn. This will be the spirit element, the electricity that you put through the spell. So you would, whatever this is, use this, casting for grace with an amulet or an amulet stone with Archangel Michael with that thing of being open to receive with love and appreciation. Please take a nice deep breath. Both feet on the floor, Mark. At least I follow my own rules. Breathe. Hmm, yeah, and I'm going to go with the Ascended Masters General Assembly because this could be about work. This could be about absolutely anything. So please, what is the card of spirit here? The perfect healing mantra for the Libra Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sun, watching this video, receiving this reading, that they can charge this intention or this spell work, whatever they want to call it, so that they can manifest the grace, blessings to come to them. I'm going to say this because I'm a Libra. Grace, blessings, come to me. Come to me and set me free with an amulet stone. Some stone of protection for integration, particularly the spiritual and the physical life. Maybe even something with uh, their work, career, vocation in the world. With Archangel Michael uh, here to clear the way and set them free. Well, come to them and set them free so that they can receive with love and appreciation. Receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love. So clarify this. Last card down for the Libras, this nutiful. What's their perfect healing mantra? Growing beyond guilt. It couldn't happen any other way. Gee, how do I know that one? I've been working with this deck for almost two years now. Uh, 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 growing, you can't see that, it's pastels. Uh, growing beyond guilt. It couldn't have happened any other way. Is It's it's not a once and done, it's a mantra, uh, certainly. But definitely one that the more you are willing to posit that, the more that grace uh, comes in. Growing beyond guilt. Uh, it couldn't have happened any other way. When you grow beyond guilt, there is a heartfelt acceptance that any sequence of events unfolds in a perfect flow that is organized and expressed by the universe. In other words, we're talking about divine plan, quantum mapping, sacred contracts, things that were written into this life before you ever incarnated, and on some level you knew you were going to have to deal with, right? Uh, it's like reading a book you've already read, but then, you know, the screenplay and then actually playing the role. Uh, this takes the pressure of control off your shoulders so you can enjoy the way in which life has come to be. 
Since everything is destined to change, hello, nothing stays the same in this world, and can only change you for the better from the soul's point of view, that doesn't mean the ego has to, yay, you know, it's fine. The ego's not going to. The personality is caught between the ego and the soul, so choose wisely. Uh, growing beyond guilt enables you to see how exquisitely the gift of life unfolds. Uh, this mantra is ideal for releasing the past, unhooking from karmic patterns, hello, worth the price of admission, and uh, forgiving yourself. Um, and, you know, I am both a student and a teacher of A Course in Miracles, which is all about quantum forgiveness, even the word the word quantum is not in it, really based in unity consciousness, not the type of forgiveness. Uh, that we were necessarily raised with in a more dualistic paradigm of good versus evil and light versus dark and all of that. Uh, forgiveness is a healing, but only the soul knows how to really forgive because its perception of the past, present, and future is one of divine perfection. The ego hates that. Personality which is the role you play is always kind of like the ego on this side and souls on that side. And, you know, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but certainly for a waxing moon. With Archangel Michael to set you free, let me put this in a blessing for you. I think you'll get this if you have not yet. I'm pretty sure you do. Uh, torch of Ariel. Please take a nice deep breath. Oh, <laughs> squeaky table. <laughs> I like a sound effect. As I call upon the collective pantheons of the divine for the Libra collective sun, moon, rising, Venus, I'm watching this video, receiving this reading, perhaps even mine, because I am traveling for the holidays. I know that I'm traveling before this uh, time, but who knows what's going to happen. So please, may we all be uh, blessed with all that we need this new moon to full moon in December 2021 that we can grow beyond guilt, that we really get the experience that it couldn't have happened any other way, and to receive that truth for ourselves and receive with the love and appreciation little by little. Um, because it's, it's, a, it's just a loving thing to receive. Maybe an apology comes in. Maybe something shifts here that we are unaware of on its way, but Archangel Michael in the element of air could certainly be about a communication that sets us free, a new perspective, a new thought, that sword, that element of air just breaking chains of illusion so that we can integrate our spirituality uh, into perhaps our relational life, into whatever it is that we may be dealing with uh, this new moon to full with the protection, uh, but to keep an open heart and a clear mind so that we may receive the grace that we yearn for, that we burn for, that our hearts desire and our element of fire. Grace, blessing, come to me. Come to me and set me free for the well-being of all and with harm to none. As we will it, so let it be done. So mote it be. And so it is. Wow. <laughs> Leave that one on the dining room table. What a powerhouse of a read. Did you like it? Like it? Hit the like button. Help the other Libras find the grace they seek. You want more of me? Subscribe if you haven't. You want to come play? Patreon's a field day. As an artist, as a teacher, as... Oh, I'm having so much fun over there. I hope you will come and join us. Uh, link in the description box. Uh, I want to book a reading with me. Like I said, link in the description box for everything else out there. But I'm happy for us, Libra, because it feels like we are are going to be set free from some chains that have bound us and we get to be loving and appreciative as we go so thank you so much for watching wishing you all the very best and the very blessed of this new to full december 2021 my beloved libras hail farewell and blessed blessed be